So the property that we're going to today is a really special one because it wasn't my first ever deal, far from it, but it was one of the first that I did coming out of the demerger of my investment company. And uh, the little bit of cash that I got, mainly got property, I'd already employed into other deals. And then as we approached the general election where Boris was gonna go in, people weren't buying because they were so nervous on what was going to happen, was he going to be able to get it through, what, what wasn't he? So when this went to auction, no one was buying and it went to auction at a guide of 80,000. Now in Norwich, that is dirt cheap. You cannot get anything for that sort of price. But when you see the images, you'll see why. It had been owned and occupied by the same guy for like 40 years. In fact, I went to school up the road and I remember the shop being a joke then. You know, 20, 30 years on, it was still pretty bad. And the guy's fingernails were so long and disgusting. The property was being held up by bits of wood, old boxes. It was like an antique sort of tic-tac shop. It was just shit everywhere. And um, he, uh, I bought the property. I agreed that he could stay for a few months while he cleared it out. The guy was like 80 and he never paid me any rent. So all of that put a lot of people off. But this is why it's so important on what you buy because buy, refurbish, refinance is a great way of building wealth. In the early days, it's a great way to excel your property journey. So as long as you get the price right and the deal right, it can work to your advantage. So even though no one wanted this, and even though it was in a right old state, and it really was, I could see that in this location, it was prime for secondary retail. And as you know, I love secondary retail, service-based businesses, startups, and the shop must have been two shops back in the day because the layout just lent itself from having a wall put back up and two small shops created, which is great. We managed to get a really good tenant here in the tattooist. He's been with us from the start and we've just had a new lady come in and take this unit as a new star coffee shop, which we know do super well in these sorts of locations. But the real cherry was crystallizing the upstairs residential flat. We are able to build a wall from the shop in an existing doorway and create its own access. And it, I guess once upon a time was a flat, but not that you would have liked to live there before. It was absolutely horrid. Now the learnings from this is we left a central landlord supply for the heat and the hot water. And that proves to be really problematic from a commercial and a residential perspective. So a few years later on, just about a year ago, we ended up splitting it and they've all got their own heating and hot water system. But for me, when I was in a position where I couldn't buy every single deal that I wanted and I was coming towards the end of my barn conversion, so a lot of my own cash was deployed in that deal, when I bought this and refinanced pretty much double the money that I put in out, it enabled me to go and buy several other properties. And that is why buy, refurbish, refinance is absolutely the 100% number one strategy that every entrepreneurial property investor should be adopting. Because when you get a property like this, it gives you money tax-free in the bank to play with and cash flow to last you forever. Now, our gross rent is like £2,200 a calendar a month and our net is well over 1200 quid, which is a great cash flow for the amount of money we ended up putting in this deal. 